One of the best ways to make complete meals for your families with aquaponics, which is raising fish and using their waste to feed the plants. It's just as rewarding as growing directly in the ground, but you get the food faster. Still, it's a bit more complicated because it uses electricity to keep everything alive. So, some thoughts should be put into how to protect your fruits in case the power goes out. So I had a scare one day. The city power went out for a while, and I didn't have any oxygen going to my fish. So I didn't know if they would live or die. So over the next couple hours, I was worried because I wasn't sure what would happen next. Rest assured, my fish lived, but it got me to thinking. With dozens of the fish, I need to have some type of backup just in case the power was out longer. So that's when I got the idea of solar power. With the help of one of my buddies, a little drilling here, a little bang bang there, the solar panel was up. But like most systems, I have a charge controller, which protects the battery from being overcharged, and an inverter, which converts DC power over AC, and batteries, which stores the charge. I wired the solar panels directly into my charge controller, then I wired the charge controller into my batteries. I hooked up my batteries to the inverter. Now I was able to run all my 120 volt devices directly off the inverter. So now I'm off the grid with my aquarium pumps, bubblers, everything is fine. That's until my inverter blew during the night. So my fear was not knowing if my fish would start dying off over the next couple of days. Lucky enough they didn't. But it was a reality check. I needed a solution to make sure this didn't happen again. I looked at a couple of options, like putting in a transfer switch. But what I decided to do was just to get to some 12 volt DC pumps and a 12 volt bubbler and run them directly off the battery instead of the inverter. That way I wouldn't have a single point of failure like I did before. Another advantage of running the system without an inverter is you use less power, decreasing the possibility of draining your battery all the way down. This is especially helpful when you have a bunch of cloudy days in a row. Also, if I'm going to be gone for long periods of time, then as a backup precaution, I can still run my 120 volt equipment simultaneously with the DC equipment. If the solar panel or charge controller blows, I still have oxygen to the system. If the power and the batteries drain all the way down, I still have oxygen to the system. So either way, my fish will be safe. So as it stands today, I have one pump pumping nutrients into the grow bed, one pump running a swirl filter, and I have a bubbler aerating the water. All this is running off the solar system right now. I still may install a transfer switch later on, but for now I'm cool with this simple setup. So thanks for watching. If you guys got any tips, be sure to let me know.